So welcome, welcome everybody to this interview. Great to see you here. I'm joined today with uh, the lovely Dr. Yogi Amrit Raj for the second time in the last number of months. He is my favorite doctor. And if you're watching the replay, you'll understand why as you get to enjoy uh, this time together. So let me just share a bit of background before I get in on a question or two for Dr. Uh, Amrit. And then we're going to open up to your questions because we thought about on this interview, it would be really nice uh, to be relevant to you. So I think that you having questions or having something you want to ask will be important, but we, we also have decided to share three uh, simple Ayurvedic rituals that will support you in combating anxiety and probably a whole host of other things as well um, as you go about your journey at this time. So just a little bit of background from, from me. Um, I'm Grace Kelly, founder of gracefulcoaching.net. And I first came across Dr. Yogi Amrit Raj in London when I was a school teacher. And I was very burnt out. I had a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, a lot of discomfort in the body. And Yogi Amrit was so kind as to find time in his schedule between royalty and celebrities <laughs> and VIPs <laughs> to, to meet me in South Kensington for a consult. And I was blown away. I remember showing up that morning and I had so much congestion in my sinuses. You, probably, you may not remember this, Yogi Amrit, but yes. there's so much congestion in my sinuses. And this was kind of normal for me to feel like crap. And I went along and met him and he took me through a breathing exercise that really was so awakening to my vitality that I was hooked immediately on whatever this Ayurvedic was, whatever this breathing was, I was, I was hooked. And I have been engaging Ayurveda uh, ever since here and there, wherever I felt I needed it, because although I am a proponent of understanding the power of mind and understanding your psychological functioning, there are times when we get so blindsided by stress, anxiety, urgency, pressure, that we just need out of our head and into practical tools and rituals that can support our well-being. So, Yogi Amrit Raj, Welcome to our talk today. Great to have you here. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, lovely and very lovely and super lovely Grace Kelly, whom I call Angel. And I know you are helping a lot of people all over the world and helping them to transform their life through your great life coaching. So first of all, my greetings of beautiful mornings, beautiful afternoons, beautiful evening for people from Europe and North America, South America, everywhere from the world. And first of all, we will start this session uh, with uh, gratitude and with a prayer. So I will request you to place your palms on your knees and keep your back straight. Just breathe. It's very important to breathe properly. Sometimes we don't breathe properly. So inhale. And exhale. You can even close your eyes. Take a deep breath again. Inhale. And exhale. Just breathe. It's very important to breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Five more breaths. Just focus on your breathing. Inhalation and then exhalation. Again, inhalation. And then exhalation. Again, inhale and exhale. Again, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. With a beautiful smile, everyone, we will chant Om either this Namaskar Mudra if possible, or either you can place your palms on your knees. With a beautiful smile, everyone. Oh. 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 
very slowly placing your palms on your knees just 20 seconds silence just feel the positivity the happiness the love within you just feel it it's there it's already there just need to feel it With a beautiful smile, everyone, opening your eyes. Again, gratitude to lovely Grace, <laughs> Angel, and gratitude to you all for listening and for giving your time. So friends, I would like to share through the camera <laughs> with you all that life is extremely, extremely beautiful. It's just a matter how we live it. We decided to live our life with a beautiful smile. So the first ritual I will suggest to you uh, you know, we will have more rituals, more than three, I will be sharing rituals of Ayurveda and yoga with you all, which will help to overcome anxiety and bring more happiness. The first one is 500 smiles a day. Do you agree with this statement? <laughs> Find reasons to smile. Find reasons to say that we are the most happy and healthy and the luckiest people on the planet. So let's start with something mind blowing, which makes you feel something ooh la la, you know? So we want to generate this feeling of ooh la la in you, which is already there. Place your hands on your, place your palms on your chest. You know, we can talk about anxiety for hours. We can talk about stress, but it's all theoretical. But here I want you practically to feel the power of positivity, power of happiness, power of love, power of meditation power of big smile so that's what I, so we are going to share the power of wisdom so who am i please say it with me who am i i am a divine soul i am a divine soul i am a happy soul i am a happy soul i am a peaceful soul I am a peaceful soul. I am a joyful soul. I am a joyful soul. I am love. I am peace. I am joy. I am positivity. I am happiness. I am a star. I am a rock star. I'm a rock star. <laughs> I'm a superstar. I'm a superstar. I'm a champion. I'm a champion. Thank you for the eyes. Thank you for the ears. Thank you for the nose. Thank you for speech. Thank you for hands. Thank you for legs. Thank you for a healthy body. Thank you for a healthy mind. We are the luckiest people on the planet. We are the happiest people on the planet. Our all accounts are full, full, full. Thank you for making me a billionaire. Rich in love. Rich in peace. Rich in joy. Rich in positivity, rich in happiness, rich in good health. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Mommy. Thank you, Grandfather. Thank you, Grandmother. Thank you, Husband. Thank you, Partner. Thank you, ex-boyfriends. <laughs> Thank you, girlfriends. Thank you, trees. Thank you, animals. Thank you, birds. Thank you, everyone, for this beautiful life. We feel so blessed. Again, we are the luckiest people on the planet. We are the happiest people on the planet. We are the healthiest people on the planet. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so here's a question, Yogi Amrit. So yes. tell us a bit about why sharing that, so doing that sort of ritual each day, because I see you doing it on Facebook every day. Why yes. is doing that ritual so important for people are so helpful to people? And what happens if they're doing it, but they don't believe it? Well, that's a very good question, Angel, Grace, Kelly. Thank you for asking. I would like to share, you know, there is one organ which works 24 hours in a day. That is the mind. And we have so many thoughts in our mind. You know, uh, it's not just 100,000, 10,000. It's 80,000 to 100,000 thoughts. Sometimes in some cases, 80% of them are self-destructive and contradictory. So why I'm saying all this is, there is conscious mind, subconscious mind, and superconscious mind. Sometimes in, you know, I don't do just the shampoo of my hairs. I do the shampoo of my mind every night and every morning. So what happens when we sleep? We sleep with WhatsApp and Facebook. And when we wake up, we are waking up with WhatsApp and Facebook. So most of the time we have random thoughts going into our brain, but we have to channelize our energy and we have to channelize the positive energy in our conscious, subconscious and superconscious mind. So what is happening? Why anxiety is happening? Because when we think we are body, then we are attached to food, then we are attached to sexual pleasures, then we are attached to clothes, then we are attached to car, then we are attached to house. But when we know I am not a body, I am, I am a soul. I'm a divine soul. I'm a happy soul. So if somebody praises me, then still I'm happy. And if somebody insults me, still I'm in balanced state of mind. So what is happening nowadays? People think, you know, that they are body. They don't think that they are soul. So if this understanding comes that we are soul, there is no profit. There is no loss. And there is no, you know, uh, what we call it respect or disrespect. So most of the time anxiety is happening because of loss in business or profit in business or insult or you know not getting appreciation enough or not getting gratitude but once we understand that and once we have this wisdom of understanding we are a soul and once we start having gratitude because what is happening nowadays when we become adult if you see a child child is the complete manifestation of god child is like manifestation of divinity. They are smiling. Everything is so lovely about them. Walking, eating, everything looks so beautiful. But when we become start becoming adult, we start living in our brain. Either we are in the past or either in the either in the future. So when I'm saying thank you, thank you, it's not me. It's a child within me which is appreciating the sun, the moon, the stars, the mountains. It's appreciating the whole universe. And it's connecting with the whole universe. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make you do hugging the sky also. But the idea is to connect with yourself. Like uh, you can see at this moment, we are connected with the Wi-Fi. And wherever we go, we go look for Wi-Fi password. Let's, ladies and gentlemen, let's connect with the inner Wi-Fi that is beyond the body, beyond the mind. That is the inner consciousness. And once you connect to your inner Wi-Fi, you start downloading. But if you think your body you are not, not a soul, but if you think you are a soul, then you connect to that consciousness, that Wi-Fi, and you start downloading. Somebody asked me, what about uploading? <laughs> so you can see, you know, Einstein, E is equal to MC square. He used to meditate every day. So when you meditate, you connect with the nature, you connect with the frequency of the nature. A human being cannot make an apple or a guava or a, you know, or papaya or a, a rose, a human being can never make a rose or the blossoming of the flower is so beautiful. It is like a magic. No human being can do that. But we need to blossom every single day of our life. So we are not blossoming. That's why we are not in the present. So we need to learn the art of living in the present. Past is a history. Future is a mystery and present is a gift. So why I'm saying this, we need to work on ourselves we need to start giving love you know if anxiety is happening another ritual i like to share is start appreciating others start uh, you know appreciating others and start feeling 
gratitude for others and start feeling gratitude to mother earth to the, for the sun for the moon for the stars and just keep using this mantra thank you thank you is a very powerful mantra if you use that we, you know so what is happening people are not secreting enough dopamine so when we have enough dopamine in our system we have good metabolism we have, we have good clarity calmness and we have more positivity we have more happiness a child has a good amount of dopamine and serotonin so it's very important so again we are going to do another technique for secreting good amount of serotonin and dopamine which we have done earlier also but nowadays mental health is an issue and because of corona covid 19 people are very much suffering so i will like to share that technique again placing the palms on the head and then on the neck and then on the heart left side of the chest chest on the heart on the stomach on the knees and that index finger to the ears so we will be making a sound like a bumblebee from the nose and the mouth with a beautiful smile everyone you can close your eyes and make a sound like a bumblebee a beautiful smile please the neck please mm-hmm. on the heart left side of the chest mm-hmm. making a sound like a bumblebee from the nose and the mouth please on the stomach please on the knee on the knees please on the knees Now the index finger to the ears, please. Just keeping your eyes closed. Another ritual we are starting. Just keeping your eyes closed. We are going to start a journey. Keeping your back straight, eyes closed, please, with a beautiful smile, everyone. we're going to start a journey a journey of 10000 miles within that is meditation all the time we are so much busy in this outer world sometimes we don't know whether we are breathing or not right now right this moment just observe are you breathing from your left nostril or are you breathing from your right nostril or are you breathing from your both nostrils if the thoughts are coming let them come and let them go the point of focus is your breath just focus on your breath just observe your breath if the thoughts are coming let them come and let them go just for 2 minutes just observing your breath just observe your breath if the thoughts are coming let them come and let them go the beautiful smile everyone opening your eyes please very nice so tell so us how do you the camera you tell us yes. tell us why tell us why the sign of a bumblebee when we're doing those exercises what why the sign of a bee actually bee sound is very healing 
so there has been some uh, research on the b sound when you do the b sound it affects the pituitary gland it helps to release the serotonin and dopamine so the happy hormone when we are happy we release serotonin and when we are very happy then we release dopamine so serotonin and dopamine is released with the help of bumblebee and helps to calm the body and the mind relax the body calm the mind and connect us so when we are calm it brings clarity and it helps us to connect to our consciousness and meditation is like a charging so anything which elevates use meditation reading writing walking anything which you do with concentration is also a kind of meditation but the most important thing here is we need to do 20 minutes of meditation every day we are used to whatsapp facebook talking music this and that we are always surrounded by a lot of stimulation alcohol smoking relationship so many things stimulation 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 so it's very important every day of our life to sit in silence 20 minutes 30 minutes so when you sit in silence actually it's a union of body mind and soul now the body is somewhere mind is somewhere and there is no understanding about the soul so it's very important for human beings like animals trees birds the nature is in silence the tree is in silence that's why it's growing that's why it's expanding with a strong foundation the human beings need to just calm down still and just observe their breath and charge themselves so if you start doing 20 minutes of meditation every single day of your life wow you're going to blossom every day you will do work and you will never feel you're doing your work it will be like a effortless energy so friends i would like to share energy cannot be created cannot be destroyed change from one form to another so if we want happiness in our life so let's not focus on stress and anxiety let's focus on increasing the dose and level of happiness and peace and positivity and big smile and when you will increase the level of happiness positivity and love and smile automatically anxiety and stress will go zero you know so i would like to share here is the number one cause of stress is avidya which is like wrong perception whatever is coming in front of us everybody is on a journey we all are on a journey so some people are doing their journey in italy some people in america some people in india some people in japan and everybody has different kinds of relationship in within their families within themselves so we need to appreciate what we have first thing is we appreciate every single thing whatever we have count our blessings every single day and when we sleep we sleep with gratitude and counting the blessings and meditating every night when i sleep i see i meditate for 15 minutes to 20 minutes every morning i wake up with 20 minutes of meditation what does it do it helps you to have a positive energy during the day not to get angry not to get upset not to get sad and not to get tired now what is happening people just wake up and they start doing just their work so we so it's very important for us it's very it's very important for us to be mindful you know to be more aware so if we you know energy cannot be created cannot be destroyed oh, sorry energy cannot be energy cannot be created energy cannot be created cannot be destroyed it changes from one form to another so why i'm saying this we need to start giving love to our partner to our family to the animals to the birds so whatever we are giving to the universe to the nature is going to come back so if we become aware what we are giving out to the universe that is going to come back then it's is amazing you know so i know what i'm going to give it to you is going to come back to me with compound interest so i'm trying to be as good as i can you know so we have to be if we are giving anger if we are giving doubts if we are giving jealousy or whatever greed it is also going to come back so it's all energy everywhere it's all energy so we need to have more positive energy by contributing on the planet contributing for the animals contributing for the trees contributing for the birds contributing for our relationship and we need to start give more rather than asking and then we feel we get drained there is no no such thing called drain sun is never drained sun is never out of energy ocean is never out of water wind is never out of air why because they are connected to the consciousness so once we connect to the consciousness 
there is unlimited source of love unlimited source of happiness unlimited source of wisdom the universe is unlimited infinite there is no end there is no beginning so if you will start giving love in your relationship if you will start giving love to others to birds to trees to animals there will be no drainage it's and drainage only happen the second cause of stress and anxiety is ego e should go i bring illness and we bring wellness when we use too much of i and me then it brings limited energy but when i say we then it's the sun the moon the stars the trees every single person is with us and when we say us again we are involving the whole planet with you there is a prayer in ayurveda may all beings be happy may all be healthy may nobody suffer anyway so when we are asking for everybody's good health and happiness we are automatically included in it you know it's a universal prayer so friends and lovely ladies and beautiful ladies i would like to say that life is very simple we just need to learn from the nature we can learn from the squirrels we can learn from the birds early to bed early to rise makes a man healthy wealthy and wise i wake up at 4 am i know 6 to 8 hours of sleep is very important but if we start waking up early in the morning it will also help us to have more positivity more happiness i will request you between 4 and 6 if you start waking up in your life a lot of beautiful miracles will happen in your life life is magic let's start the magic let's play the magic let's sing the magic let's have this journey of miracle and magics in our day to day life let's have romantic morning romantic afternoon romantic evening beautiful mornings beautiful afternoons beautiful evenings lovely mornings lovely afternoon lovely evenings let's live like a rock star let's live like a superstar let's live like a champion let's sing let's dance let's eat let's love let's give so if these principles are there i can talk about herbs i can talk about principles of ayurveda but when we talk about reducing anxiety i think the number one thing is big smile and how the big smile comes when we celebrate when we sing it doesn't mean we have to party and drink and you know and have a lot of food it doesn't mean that it means to be conscious enjoy the sunrise enjoy the sunset enjoy the breeze enjoy the sea enjoy the river enjoy the breakfast enjoy the lunch enjoy the dinner enjoy your relationship enjoy your sleep enjoy your bath enjoy brushing your teeth enjoy fossils washing your face and washing your you know hairs enjoy every single activity you are doing in your day to day life i assure you friends anxiety can never touch you <laughs> so yogi amrit this is this is wonderful it's so helpful and i'm sure some it people make here sense. have questions Lovely, for you yes. yes yes i'm sure we're going to have some questions in a moment um before we get to to asking questions from the audience um i'm curious about you know talk to us a little bit about the 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 diet and food that also is supportive to people with that vata imbalance you know that yes. that that anxious kind of um feeling and that that feeling of always being in a rush and always being stressed because one of the things you really helped me with when i was in that experience um yes. 10 11 years ago um you know was you 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 really helped me correct the imbalance of what you yes. described as as vata um yes. with food with the correct i mean i was eating so poorly in relation to my body and what it needed so tell us a little bit about what what dietary um rituals do you suggest for people experiencing um heightened anxiety stress or too much rushing in their life and don't forget the uh I'll never forget you saying no worry no hurry only curry <laughs> so tell us a bit more well <laughs> definitely that. first of all I, i would like to offer with the help of grace kelly 15 minutes of 
a free consultation online to each one of you and we can connect on facebook or messenger and then my assistant can help me to connect with you any time of the day indian time and then you because the body is made up of five elements fire air space earth and water and we need to know what is our body type vata pita kapha or vata pita pita vata vata kapha so vata is composed of air and space these people have low blood pressure if they will have cold salads and cold food it will be dangerous for them and too much of uh, ballet dancing and too much of exertion of asanas is not good for them they need to meditate more they need to breathe more and they need to have warm food warm food is good and they need to have their breakfast and they need to massage their body with sesame oil and do the gargling with mas- sesame oil it's very important and they need to just calm down chill and relax no hurry no worry only curry so curry means to use the spices like turmeric cumin coriander cinnamon and cook the spices because they have medicinal properties generally what happen people have olive oil and then onion and garlic and then they cook the vegetables so here in india you can see even covid 19 is not affecting so much the recovery rate is 99% people are not dying it's only extreme cases one of the basic reason is people are using turmeric cumin coriander cinnamon cardamom and they have all medicinal properties so if you learn how to cook the spices you can do wonders in your day to day life so in the same way uh pita pita is more fire when your hands and feet are more warm then you need to use more coconut oil and drink more aloe vera or coconut water and avoid things which are sour salty and pungent pungent it is like onion and chilies and eat food which is more sweet like papaya apple strawberry and astringent like pomegranate and bitter in vata you can have sweet sour and salty but avoid things which are bitter pungent and astringent in the same way in kapha in you can have things which are bitter pungent and astringent and avoid things which are sweet sour and salty in kapha it's overweight lot of earth element it's warm and light food it's very important warm and light food so why i am sharing all these things is that we need to understand what is our body type and accordingly having the eating habits and lifestyle there are lots of good vegetables there are lots of good fruits eat seasonal and regional fruits and vegetables so in one sentence that can help you for immunity is eating seasonal and regional fruits and vegetable and at the same time eating food according to your body type can do wonders you will be like wow i feel so good so in the morning eat like a king or queen in the afternoon eat like a prince or princess in the night eat in the night eat like a beggar let me repeat in the morning eat like a king or queen in the afternoon eat like a prince or princess and in the night eat like a beggar so it's very important in our day so like this there are a lot of herbs like flax seed black seed oil aloe vera uh, moringa there are a lot of things which can be used and which can be very useful like black seed oil half teaspoon in the morning half teaspoon in the evening is really good for immunity and correcting your metabolism and reducing extra weight flax seed has omega 3 omega 6 chromium half teaspoon in the morning half teaspoon in the evening good for controlling the diabetes moringa is good in more than 200 diseases half teaspoon in the morning half teaspoon in the evening like this we can avoid breakfast tea and milk tea and we can have cinnamon tea cardamom tea lemongrass tea rosemary tea and we can have a decoction of cinnamon cardamom holy basil and we can have uh, there is tinospora cordifolia so four five things are there in ayurveda with which we can have a decoction and it can help us to build up our immunity so friends food is medicine we need to be very conscious conscious eating conscious living and conscious breathing so i would like to share one thing just check are you breathing from left nostril or are you breathing from the right nostril i like so left is the moon nostril right is the sun nostril so when you are having breakfast and lunch if left is working or right is working or both is working is okay but if you are having dinner and dinner time is night time and you are little inactive and little sluggish also so if your right nostril is working it's like sun sun is heat so it will help you to balance your metabolism but if your right nostril is working is okay but if your left nostril is working is not okay because it's the moon and moon is cold calming relaxing but you need heat to digest your food 
so what you can do during the dinner time if your left is working you can inhale from the left exhale it from the right inhale from the left exhale it from the right you can inhale you can inhale from the left exhale it from the right you can inhale from the left exhale it from the right what does it do inhale from the left automatically from the left nostril it will switch to right nostril and when it will switch to right nostril automatically your sun nostril will be active and you will have a good metabolism and your food will be digested well mm -hmm. so why i'm saying this we need to massage ourselves every day because nowadays because of using too much of air conditioners and heaters we have a lot of dryness in our body you know beautiful ladies you will be surprised how much lipstick a woman absorbs in a year it is 5 to 6 kilograms how much body cream shampoos and lotions we absorb in a year it is around 10 to 15 kilograms imagine if you are applying face creams and these chemicals shampoos you are absorbing chemicals and they are going to block your system so we have to be very mindful what kind of toothpaste we are using it should have herbs limestone aloe vera or chickpea powder or clarified butter or applying oil we know nobody likes to apply oil on the on the hairs because it makes the hair greasy and nobody like it it's not good for the clothes but oil is that which is greasy in nature which is not greasy in nature it's not a oil so our hair follicle also needs some nourishment because in the hair follicle down there on the root of hair follicle there is the sebaceous gland which produces sebum so which is sticky in nature and it is giving something sticky in nature from inside so it needs something sticky in nature from outside also so why i'm telling you all this is uh, that we need to be more conscious what kind of toothpaste what kind of shampoo what kind of cream what kind of lotions what kind of soap because we are using a lot of cosmetics and they are blocking our system we don't allow strangers in our so food. how can they allow yes yes please. so let's just reiterate for a second uh yogi amrit raj because you always give so much knowledge to us each person yes. is invited to have a consult with you for complimentary for 15 minutes and that includes yes. people who hear the replay so um so if you're hearing a lot just now ladies because i i get excited with all the things that i hear from yogi amrit raj but just Thank know you. if you're picking up on something that you feel your wisdom is calling you to have a little bit more information about um, you know, Yogi Amrit Raj has offered his time, which is very kind to, to speak with him personally. So we'll get you an email address for that. We'll get you, we'll get you supported there. Please. I want to give some time to questions. So we've about 10 minutes left. Um, if you have a question now, or if you have a situation that you're dealing with and you're wondering how the ancient uh, art of Ayurveda, the healing art of Ayurveda can support you, please feel free to come on or if you have a comment you want to make, please feel free to ask just now. Just um, either unmute yourself or raise the hand section and I'll bring you on. Um, so let's just give a moment to see does anybody want to share. And Yogi Amrit, have we covered the three rituals? Have we covered yes. all three rituals? The bumblebee, have? the meditation, and the affirmations. Mm -hmm. But we are going to do a lion pose and the hugging the sky in the end. Okay, we're going to do that before we finish. Okay, great. Yes. Well, is anyone, does anyone want to ask a question? Is anyone curious about anything? Or are you all happy to proceed with, uh, with another beautiful ritual? Any questions, please feel free to ask. Maybe they can ask some personalized questions on the email, then I can answer them properly. Yeah, well, I think having that consult will be a lovely opportunity. Okay. So, yeah. Yes. Okay, so your so camera the first ritual. Through. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, lovely Angel, lovely Grace. So first is the toning up the facial muscles and bring, make us more beautiful. Already everyone is very beautiful, more beautiful. So it's a lion pose from the lion. Take the tongue out, look at the nose and stretch the fingers as much as you can. It's good toning up of the facial muscles it's like it vortex injections. Ah, one more time. Ah, feel free. Ah, ah, 
One more time. Ah. One more time. Ah. One more time. Ah. One more time. Ah. The king and the queen. Ah. One more time. Ah. One more time. Ah. One more time. Ah. Very good. Now let's do some energy work, more energy, and press all the acupressure buttons. Hey, 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 Now a little bit more smile, everyone. Ah, more bigger smile. Ah, more bigger smile. Ah, super big smile. Ah, super duper big smile. Ah, super big smile. Ah, super big smile. Ah, more bigger smile. Ah, super big smile. Ah, more bigger smile. Ah. Super big smile. Ah, more bigger smile. Ah, very good. Let's open the arms wide open and look at the sky. And let's say it all together. We are connected to the universe. We are connected to the planet. We are connected to the sun. We are connected to the moon. We are connected to the stars. We are connected to the mountains. Everyone, with lots of love, lots of peace. Lots of joy, lots of positivity, lots of happiness. We want to thank the universe, the planet, the sun, the moon, the stars, the mountains, the trees, everyone for this beautiful, extremely beautiful, extremely happy, extremely healthy, extremely magical, ooh la la, extremely ooh la la, beautiful life, happy life, rock star life, healthy life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Do you feel the opening of the heart? Do you feel the opening, the connection? <laughs> it's very impactful. <laughs> Imagine it's just through the camera. I can see Robin and Lorraine. <laughs> Lovely Grace, just see it's through just the camera. Imagine if I'm in front, then people will go crazy, you know. <laughs> you, have a, you have a wonderful way of bringing out the, the dormant... Uh, happiness that is within all of us yogi amrit this is what i love about your work you know you're so yes, thank you. <laughs> you, you live there the whole the whole time <laughs> i i notice you're just living there so that's no, thank wonderful. you, <laughs> no, what, thank would you, you like, what would you like to finish with today before we finish anything else like you to want have, to share i would like to uh you know i have uh, everybody's just feedback on one sentence this will be like a blessing for us, if it is okay. Hello. Lovely Grace, I would like to have just a feedback of everyone yes. in one sense. Lorraine, do you want to go ahead? Yeah, what I really enjoyed was the thing about, was it Pitta? Because I have very low blood pressure and yes. I'm looking forward to learning about that and talking with you. Thanks. Most welcome, most welcome. Robin, I can see you're with us on camera. Do you wanna share what you've enjoyed today or some feedback? Thank you. Yes, this has been fabulous. Thank you. I've enjoyed all your exercises. Um, and about the food was very interesting. So yeah, I'd be uh, very interested to find out more what fits my body better because for a while, I've been wondering what else I can eat. I'm not quite feeling like I wanted to be. So really, really lots of great stuff today. Thank you so much. Oh, you know, Robin, when I first find out my body type, it was so helpful because uh, that immediate shift to warmer, heavier foods and seasonal foods that fitted my yes. body type just 
they have it had such an impact and even nowadays when i feel myself too revved up or too stressed or too anxious i know great get back to that yes. warm uh -huh. butter, pacifying food right. <laughs> so That's yeah you really nice. enjoy <laughs> Um, who else would like to come on? I know some of you don't have your cameras on. You don't have to put your camera on, but if you want to share a few words, Nita, hi, yeah. Hi, yes, thank you. Um, thank you. Yeah, I, I just love the fact that there was so much celebration and smiling and there wasn't really a focus on anxiety, which, um, you know, perfect, actually. So... Um, yeah, I, I loved I loved everything. I loved all the the, the rituals and uh, thank you and thank you for the offer of a free concert. Oh, thank you, thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks, Nita. Yeah, this is why I enjoy having Yogi Amrit on with us because you know no, thank sometimes you. we can get so caught in our business, we can get caught in our the seriousness of trying to achieve something or trying to get somewhere. And just being sort of pointed in a completely different direction for an hour is such a good thing for all of us in, in this line of work. Um, we're out helping others, we're out supporting others, and then sometimes we just forget about ourselves. So it's yes. really good that you showed up here today. And those of you listening to the replay, I'm speaking to you too, you know. Pam, I don't know if you're there, Pam, but if you wanted to unmute yourself or Charlie, um, or Audra, just come on over. Kimberly, I know you were with us earlier. If you're still here, you don't want to put your camera on, just on mute. Any feedback, anything you particularly enjoyed, let us know. And we also have Kevin here. So um, if you want to, <laughs> you don't have to, but you're welcome to. I'm very grateful to Grace Kelly for organizing this wonderful gathering. Extremely oh, grateful, so Grace. Um, and pleasure. I will request you uh, to give me your time so that I can do your consultation too again. Please. Yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> I'd love to. Thank you. Sometimes I just call. Yes. I've got Yogi Amrit is on, on WhatsApp. <laughs> yes. And sometimes I'll just. I think uh, catching me on WhatsApp is more easy. Uh, what what spice <laughs> am I meant to use for this? I'm always available thing? for you, Grace. <laughs> and he's always available. <laughs> then I'm All always right. available well, for you on WhatsApp. <laughs> thank you. Yogi Amrit, I think. I'm very grateful to yeah. Grace Kelly and. Oh, go ahead. Yes, yes please. Now I'm saying I'm very grateful and God bless you very, very much. And God bless your family and God bless your partner and everyone around you. And thank you, everyone, for listening from the bottom of my heart. Beautiful day, lovely day, happy day, great day, magical day, romantic day, an extremely extraordinary day. I will request Thank you keep you. smiling and keep donating blood by your wonderful compliments and wonderful smile. Just yeah. keep smiling. Thank Find you, Yogi Amrit. Thank yeah. you. So um, if you want to get that consult, ladies, just get in touch with me. You all have me on Messenger just, and I will give you Yogi Amrit's uh, details. Okay, thank you so much for today. Thank you. And God you bless soon. you. Bye, thank everybody. You. Bye. Bye. Bye.